Hello Internet. This video shows the making of a stand for a Boyer clock number six. Here's the clock shown in the stand. And now here is the stand without the clock. The stand shown here is in a Fusion 360 model. The stand is primarily made out of solid Padauk hardwood. We'll start out showing the making of mortises and tenons on these two curved pieces. Here a one quarter inch end mill is being used to mill the tenon on one of the pieces. The tenons are a half inch long, about an inch and a half wide, and about a half an inch thick. The curved outline of these pieces was cut earlier off camera. The radius on the tenon corners is 1 16th of an inch. Now we start the finishing pass that removes the final two hundredths of an inch off the material. Now we start the matching mortise for the tenon using a 1 8 inch end mill. The 1 8 inch end mill naturally leaves a 1 16 inch radius at the corners for a perfect match with the tenon. A nice tight fit. Now we'll show the making of this keystone piece. There are two keystones in this project. One is already cut and now we're cutting the second. The material is solid padauk and is nearly one and a half inches thick. We're using a one quarter inch end mill with a cutting length of one and a half inches to get through the material. It is an Armana number 46577-K. The parts are held in place by tabs included in the Toolpath software. We're using a table vise to hold the keystone part while cutting a mortise in the side. This again is a 1 8 inch end mill. And here again is the final finishing pass, removing the last two hundredths of an inch. There's another video on my channel showing the making of this bench vise.
Now we'll show the milling of mortises in one of the main styles of the uh, stand project. The main styles are 64 inches long and the cross section is 1 and 3 quarter inches by 0.95 inches. This particular set of mortises is at the bottom of one of the styles and is showing a mortise for the lowest rail, a slot for the panel, and we will be seeing shortly the uh, mortise for the upper style in the lower set of panels. Now on to assembly. Here is a call that I made to help with holding the pieces together for glue up on the curved part of the project. The calls are held firmly to the project with clamps. And then another set of clamps is used between the calls to hold the pieces together. This is a dry fit to test the concept. Here is the back frame all glued up and clamped. I'm using hide glue to allow for additional open time for this part of the glue up. And now we attach the front frame pretty fussy lining up all the mortises. We got four on the bottom and five at the top that all have to be lined up.
Everything did finally line up and here is the final glue up in clamps. Notice the clock mechanism sitting on the joiner bed waiting for its new home to be completed. project finish will be tried and true linseed oil followed by Johnson paste wax. Here the linseed oil is being liberally applied with a brush. After about 15 minutes the linseed oil is thoroughly wiped down. The wax was applied after about a week of drying. And here is the completed project with the clock installed. A separate video on my channel shows the actual making of the clock mechanism. It's a Boyer number six. This close-up shows the veneered panels at the bottom of the project, which are actually a veneer of Babinga. This front rail is removable to allow for access to the pendulum mechanism. It's held on with magnets. Thanks for watching.